Hello and welcome to this tutorial for Igniter. Today what we're going to be looking at is a couple of the scenes from the promo video that we did for Igniter and how quick and easy it was for me to set up the sound for these uh, with our already made presets that come with the tool as well as how easy it was to modulate and add parameters myself to make it fit with the scene that was happening in the trailer. The first one we're going to look at is the sci-fi car. I'll play it back just now. As you can see, the car is uh, panning slowly across the screen. It's got a very electric and futuristic feel to it. So that was the first thought in my head was, how do I make this car sound electric? So um, inside our factory presets, we have a real world cars and trucks. And in the extras, you'll find a selection of electric cars. So I went with the external electric car, which as you can see here, has uh, six oscillators and different blends between waveforms, um, frequencies and gains. So the gains are all set and happy with the tone of the car, but uh, I wanted it to rise in time with the car going on screen. So the oscillator um, frequencies have been added to the macro parameter here. Now each one can be adjusted to have a different set of ranges and with that different set of ranges it allows the tones to still rise um, either harmoniously or non-harmonic with each other depending on what you wanted to create as the sound. So once these are all in here from the main master revs parameter you can attach automation in, in your DAW and it's now in time with the, uh, with the car on screen. So let's have a quick listen to how that sounds. Now, I felt that this was missing something, um, and it was like the movement. That panning, I feel, is is, is an important part of it uh, travelling across the screen. So I made a, a little adaptation to the preset, where I have added this Doppler, and uh, basically it's just a very, very small pan uh, that you can see here. Uh, on the x-axis and it's inverted because it's going from right to left and uh, just slightly moves it along the screen and I, I felt it made it feel more real. So uh, let's have a listen to that. I still felt there was something missing. So what I did was I recorded the electric car out to its own separate track. And then I went and chose one of our other presets that we have in the tool. So it felt like it was missing a more sci-fi element to it. So I went into our sci-fi presets and found the Gritty Future Banger. Now, as you can see here, the Gritty Future Banger is actually made with uh, looped samples. So we've had these three samples in here that are rising up through their pitches um, to do with their RPM. On top of that, to make it more sci-fi, there was a flanger chorus added to it. Now, all I had to do here was repeat the same thing as I'd done for the electric car. So when I was happy with the sound of it, I added the Doppler in the exact same way onto it. Um, and again, um, it's only modulating through the small section that you had before. So, if I play this back now, you'll hear that it is perfectly in time with the previous uh, electric car sound. So with those two uh, selected, I recorded them both to uh, separate tracks, and that way I can just layer them up as I wanted them. And now if I play back this clip, you'll hear that they uh, sync up perfectly because of the one layer of automation. And I felt that that was perfect for making the sci-fi car. So for the second clip in the Igniter promo, um, I was working with this um, helicopter flying away. So let's have a quick look at this on screen as it goes. And as you can see, the helicopter is just rising up. So it's all very close for quite a long time. And then it starts to fly away. And the, the tonality of this helicopter is going to change with the 
with the sounds as it's moving. So I found this preset, um, which was the Huey overhead movement. And I felt it had a really good sound and tonality to it of uh, of the of the Huey helicopter flying away. Um, so I put some automation in and I had to listen to see how that sounded. Now, I love the tonality change of all of that. Um, the only issue was the Doppler was flying away to the right rather than it um, flying away on the y-axis, like further away from people. And I felt that the there wasn't enough like reverb changing over time. So the way I hybridized this preset uh, was to basically look at the Doppler and I had the x-axis as it's moving and I narrowed that field down so it was just more of a slight left to right situation that went on with it. And then for the y-axis here, what I did was a, a scene of the of the y just flying away. It's a more smooth, um, linear kind of progression of it flying away after a certain point, which uh, was like that. And as well as this, you can see here, I've added a reverb mix. And this increases the reverb as the vehicle gets further away Um as I would have expected it to do in real life as the sounds like banging off the mountains. So now with the automation already in and the loops already transitioning the way I wanted them to, I was happy to play it back and have a listen. The other thing I had done to create that sound of the... Uh, like the high frequencies disappearing as it flies away was um, I've modulated the EQ here, which you can see the EQ2, and um, it's just slowly applying more low pass as it goes, which is kind of what you would expect from a vehicle that's flying away. And straight from that, I felt that that scene was sounding really good. So for the third scene, what we had was these two cars moving through a tunnel. As you watch the scene, I can imagine um, how reverberant this tunnel sounds. It looks like a very long tunnel. There's two different cars. Um, they are the same car, but I wanted to show off the, the different uh, presets that we have in Igniter. So I decided to make them different just to have a little bit of variety as the as the cars move past you. Now, the main thing is obviously that they, they do come forward, go back, and then go past the screen. So we had uh, a couple of presets that I really liked the sound of, um, and this was the Audi R8. So as you can see for the first pass, all I did was I added the automation um, up here, but uh, all I was automating was the RPM parameters inside the tool. At that point, I was uh, only thinking about how the sound was as it was moving up towards the camera and further away from the camera, you know, faster or slower. Um, the other preset that I liked was the Porsche, as it had a completely different tonality to the Audi R8. So let's have a listen to the Porsche in this scene. So with the two cars chosen, and I felt they worked really well with the, the speed changes in this, my first process was to go back to the Audi and focus on that car. So I made it that the front car was going to be the Audi that comes up, falls back, and it's the second car to pass by you. So that's the automation that we're working with here. Um, on top of that, I added the Doppler. And with the Doppler, um, we had uh, the X source here for the, the movement of it, um, because it's coming over to the right, back down the way it stays on the right, 
and then it comes up on the left and across. And then with the Y, which is on this one, I had the the Doppler um, like basically come towards you, move away again, and then back towards you and past the central point of where the mics would be. And that basically creates most of the movement and what you would expect from the car in this space. As well as that, I added this um, impulse response, which is the parking garage, which is a really nice sounding impulse response. And I have it so that the amount of mix in this reverb for the cars changes as the cars get closer. And that helps to differentiate between the two vehicles as they were coming closer and further away with the Doppler. That's a good way to mix them. And then the reverb just adds... Uh, adds well you're adding more reverb and the result is that it feels like it's getting further away and you're hearing less of the direct sound of the car so let's have a listen to all of that now that it's been added into the um now that's been added into the macro system here So once I was happy with that, I basically recorded it to a track here, which you can see we've got the Audi on top. Um, because the automation for the second car was going to be slightly different. So here is another bit of automation. Uh, this was the automation that I did for the Porsche. It suited its RPM movements much better uh, because obviously it's, it's changing places with the, the Audi preset. Um, what I did with the Porsche here is I would added the Doppler as well. As you can see, it's got a different um, curve for the Y and the X here. And I've also added a reverb to that as well. It's the exact same reverb, but of course the mix is then changing. Um, yeah, the mix is changing in different times with this car to suit when it's closest to the screen as well. Um, so let's have a quick listen to how that sounds compared to the Audi. And so now you can see between the two cars there's a completely different movement. So I then recorded this out and onto uh, another track as well. And with that, I could then just play them both back at the same time as each other and they sounded in time and worked with the automation that I'd made for each. Hopefully that has helped you to see um, some of the features of Igniter and how quickly you can piece together your own scenes uh, from either our presets or by making your own from scratch. For more information, you can visit crotusaudio.com. Thanks for watching.